the other week I greeted you with this bad boy. A more cafe from Mansara. Today I'm greeting you with Black Noir. This is first impressions, and the reason why I go like that, you'll find out why in a minute. Just stay tuned, let's do this. good YouTube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel my name is Mikey Cologne and thank you very much for tuning in thank you for stopping by thank you for watching thank you for your support if you're new here and you're stopping by for the first time and you do enjoy my content hit that subscribe button it is completely free and press the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review right got that out of the way this is second impressions of Black Noir. Now, late last night, about 10.45 in the PM, I was tired and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do the review. So I recorded my intro, fine. Sat down, then unboxed the fragrance, doing everything that I normally do in first impressions. Get up to press stop record. I hadn't even recorded the main part of the review i was fuming i thought you son of a b and then i had a shower and i went to bed i was pissed i thought because i've done it a couple of times now or maybe this is the second time that i've done that i will put a little snippet up in the corner of my intro from last night you won't hear anything just to prove that i am not lying because some people might think yeah all right whatever I'm being serious, I recorded the intro and I didn't record the rest of the review. So, and I only sprayed it once on my hand and then after I found out I didn't review it, I had a shower and went to bed. So really, I haven't even worn this fragrance, I have smelt it on my hand, but I'm gonna get into it today. I didn't look up the notes, well I did last night and I know that this has black leather in it, but we will get into it. So this is a 60ml bottle, it is a new release, and it is at the Perfume Concentration. I ordered this from the Mansara website, so it's the legit fragrance. It comes in a travel pouch like all Mansara's. This is the batch code on the bottom. And there is the box, right. Great atomizers, magnetic cap, and some people don't really care about that, but for me, I think if you're a collector, you appreciate a great atomizer and you appreciate a magnetic cap because of this. You ready? That makes me happy. Anyway, that's the bottle. Great atomizer. Pressurized. These are some of the best atomizers in the game. On the magnetic caps of Mancera bottles, the older atomizers weren't all that, to be honest with you, the screw cap bottles, but the mag magnetic caps, right, so I'm gonna do one on test strip and I'm gonna go one on hand. And I'll already give my first impressions on this and I'm gonna say ex near on exactly the same because I didn't get a chance to wear it all night. It was late last night, so, right. To me, this opens up with leather, but it's not abrupt. The leather here is very smooth, and that leather is mixing in with a very soft, slightly buttery oud. So it's woodsy, there's some spice, you've got leather, and to me, in the beginning, the leather comes off a little bit like suede. It is that smooth, and soft like it's not screaming in your face black leather because with a note of or an accord of black leather you'd think that this would be a dark pungent smoky leather fragrance to me it's not coming across that way 
So spicy, warm, semi-sweet, suede woodsy, a little bit musky, and it's got this, I don't know how to put it, it's giving off a very lightly fruity facet. Like there's something in this, and this is not a fruity fragrance, not at all, but there's something in this fragrance in Black Noir that's giving it a little bit of a fruity quality. And before I had a shower last night, it was literally 15 minutes after I'd done a review. So it wasn't on my hand for long at all. But that is when I started noticing that fruity quality. So I'm going to go into the notes in a minute. But what do I think about this fragrance? I think this is a very nice fragrance. This is not anything like a more Cafe. That is a gourmand, sexy scent. To me... Black Noir is definitely more on the masculine side and it's got a little bit of a it's got a little bit of a sophisticated quality to it. It's refined, it's not pungent, it's not barnyardy or fecal. It is a little bit smoky, but it's more of an incense quality if that makes sense. And I very much enjoy the way this smells to me it doesn't be a more cafe i give that fragrance a 10 out of 10 i don't know what i'd rate this right now but a more cafe for me got a 10 out of 10 that is really everything that i look for in a fragrance apart from an iris note but i'm gonna read you the notes of black noir obviously i would love to hear your thoughts if you have tried this fragrance I'm gutted that the review went so well last night, the first impressions, and there was a couple of funny bits in there, and when I got up to stop recording and I realised that I didn't, I thought I pressed the record button. I did press the record button, and obviously I didn't. In the top, you've got black leather and pink pepper. In the mid, is tobacco, Cambodian oud, patchouli, tear flower, or TR flower, sorry. Base is Tonka, Vanilla, Haitian Vetiver, and Amber Grease. Now, I am not getting this does have a woodsy aroma to it, but that can come across that can come from the oud and that can also come from the vetiver. At the minute, I'm not getting anything earthy with this fragrance. I'm not getting anything animatic with this fragrance. If anything, this fragrance is more on the balsamic resinous ambery side than what it is animalic dirty and fecal it does have a nice rich warm quality to the fragrance and it sits nice on the skin like this is not screaming off of me and i know some people say you need to let the fragrance macerate i do agree with that in in a way but should you have to buy a bottle and then spray it and let it oxidise or whatever it's called and then go back to it in three months to get its full potential. No, these companies already macerate these fragrances. This was probably made months and months and months ago. They don't just come up with a... or they don't just put all these accords together, make the fragrance and then a week later they bottle it and send it out. It doesn't work like that. So it has to go through a maceration period before they can, they can bottle it and send it out. But I ain't getting any vanilla. So like I say, the black leather, this is not a pungent leather fragrance. More of a suede, smooth undertone, if anything. Now, I think that fruity quality can be either coming from the, the TR flower or that mixing in with the Cambodian oud. Because ouds can come across smelling different. I believe Cambodian oud can come across smelling woodsy, musky, sweet, warm, rich. It can also give off little fruity qualities. So can a TR flower. So I think it's them two notes blending together when I started getting a little bit of a fruity touch. For me, the tobacco in Black Noir is 
giving this fragrance a little bit of a dry quality. It is rich, warm, semi-sweet and resinous. But it does have a bit of a dryness to it as well. And plus, I think it's sort of giving that black pepper a little bit of backbone when it comes to the spicy side of things. Because tobacco can come across, tobacco leaf can come across a little bit spicy. But this is a solid release. It really is. But I'm going to say this right now. Like I say, I haven't given this a full wear. But it doesn't come across as it's a beast mode fragrance. Like... To my nose and on my skin, a more cafe definitely was louder. This doesn't seem to be a slouch at the minute, but like I say, I haven't given it a full wear. So obviously, when I do do an update review, it'll be a quick update review just on the longevity, the projection and all that good stuff. But this is my first impressions of Black Noir. I think it's a solid release, but it does, to me... I prefer a more cafe, but everybody's got different tastes. If you love gourmand fragrances, there's no doubt about it, you're gonna enjoy a more cafe more, no doubt about it. But if you like warm, rich, woody, oody, suede, smooth, semi sweet fragrances, you might enjoy this more. This does have a musky side to it, like not heavy on the musk. But there's definitely a little bit of musk sitting in there somewhere. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Black Noir. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this. I would love to hear your thoughts. Remember, spending goods always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will definitely see you lot on the next one. Cheers. Yeah.